Well hello there and welcome to my little corner, uh, my little arty corner of the internet on YouTube. And it's Wednesday, that means it's time for another template, a colouring template for the Angela Porter's colouring book group. This week, I've, for the past few days, I've been lost in Inktober 2021. Um, and particularly, I've been enjoying the Tangle, Inktober Tangle Pattern Challenge, um, which has had me drawing a different scent angle pattern each day. And the ones I particularly have enjoyed, I've enjoyed them all. And if you've seen my blog or me on social media or on the, um, the Facebook group for the challenge, which I think is 7F5R, or is it 7R5F? I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description then you'll see that I've been having a lot of fun, particularly with repeating patterns like this one, which isn't one of the challenge, by the way, um, in creating variations and trying different things out and putting tangle patterns together. So I thought that today's pattern, as you can see, is going to be one that's quite repetitive in terms and geometrically repetitive but with some organic elements in it, like here, I'm putting in um, some leaves that are poke leaf. The inner part are patterns that I saw on an Islamic tile and just made up part of it. I thought that would be lovely to use. And they look like little leaves, flowers or leaves around a circle. And I thought that would be lovely for autumn, as would these leaves. And it was lots of pauses I was thinking oh gosh how am I going to fit this in round here because I could have done it in a more organic way and then I had these gaps and I thought I know let's go back to the old um, standby of mooka everybody loves a mooka it seems so that's what I'm doing is fitting these in here so I've been enjoying the Zentangle or the Tangle challenge the official prompt list I started but it just isn't, again, it's just not doing it for me. I think it's just too representative, um, a form of art. And um, I so much prefer more abstract art, except when it comes to colouring templates. Sorry, you're not getting representative art in the colouring template today, as if you couldn't tell. But um, every now and again, well, I say every now and again, I indulge myself quite often in what appears and um, this was very much needed. I was up stupidly at stupid o'clock this morning well before my delivery time. I had to go back to bed so I slept through till nearly midday. So I had another four hours sleep which is brilliant. But anyway that's besides the point. So here I've decided to help make it easier for people to colour is by adding black to the actual gaps and that helps to lift the individual motifs up. Otherwise, it can be a bit challenging, especially as I tend to draw a bit smaller than perhaps I ought to at times for colouring templates. But I also like the contrast that black gives and the way it helps to separate out the different parts of the tile. In the central bit, you may notice I've actually thickened lines and made them um, bolder as well to help, to help to do that more so on some than the others because some of it was also um, hiding my crimes to, so to speak, say where the line had gone over the edge um, and that I really like I could have happily left this as that I could have but no it's sort of like and then done all kinds of lovely organic patterns around it but no I thought I know let's do some ribbons and here I was sort of like trying with widths and and so on and in the end I decided to go for the wider one and um, I'm sort of glad I did but I'm also not happy with what I've done but then that is often something that I say when I um, am not sure about things or part way through a design and but I just thought hang on we're doing this for colouring I need bigger spaces for people to colour in, not the teeny tiny ones that I'll add tiny fine lines to and and whatever. So I was trying to decide what kind of 
pattern I'd put here and I started putting these sort of like oh I don't know rice shapes they call them in Zentangle little arches I'd call them little arcs and then I started echoing the line auroring it in Zentangle terms and then I thought okay let's put a let's put a berry in there because I've got berries in other parts of the design in the middle and the outside it's that autumn theme and use that to create a space for these other parts so again it's just continuing to aura but putting them behind some of them behind those those berries and then with those middle bits which i'm putting in now see i decide to color them in black because they were getting a bit small and that black helps to give again it's that kind of structure it's almost like a really strong bone of the pattern it's something that you can you can develop in its way and um, it just felt right with the other border the leafy border having so much black in it as well and then I go back and I add circles inside these berries so because I could and because they did they didn't look right without it and we're on to another border and I thought I'd have some kind of weaving going on here with patterns going under and over kind of and here I decide to put in a zigzag pattern because I do like a good zigzag I do I like a good zigzag and then I go oh oh I, I made a mistake um, I missed where I wanted the triangle to go and so I worked with it and I created it, I turned it into a, a repeating pattern here. And then I think, okay, I like that. I could, in fact, looking at it, I wish I'd left it like that. I thought, no, let's repeat it on the upper part. So I do that. And then realize in a moment, like now that I've just gone and done something on the corner. So I do that and I, I'm just spoiler alert I'm going to come back to that part of this um, design in, in a short while so here I decide to add another kind of you know ribbons on the outside of this this very much reminds me of um, some of the sort of like the um, designs on in the Book of Kells and so on the Book of Kells is um, an, a, a Celtic manuscript from in the UK I mean, it's, it's an Irish manuscript, but it's the Dark Ages, so Anglo-Saxon times, very early medieval. And the most beautiful, beautiful um, illuminated manuscript with lots of Celtic knots and intricate patterns and um, very, very geometrically laid out because that's the nature of Celtic knots. And these kinds of shapes, more like um, a Christian cross would be on there. This one is not that that sort of like shape that the middle square would have to go up. I wanted it dead center. And um, so it reminds me a bit of that, but you know, sort of like in my way of drawing. Although one of the challenges this week for um, Inktober, the official prompt list was not, and I did do a page full of Celtic knots in my, in the sketchbook I'm working in currently. And that was fun because I haven't drawn them for years. And I seem to remember them being easier than they, they were to draw. Um, whether that and for me to work out what was going on and to find the right um, author to be able to do that then I decide to go back and add small triangles inside these because that just didn't feel right but actually this ends up just fine and well and it's okay it's going to be a challenge for you to colour in those of you who do that and then I'm just adding the outside border before I do anything else which is what I'm doing here and I do like to with these kind of ribbon borders add the aura around them just to separate them from different designs and it's a beautiful opportunity to use metallics and this is it I'm gonna as far as I've got the rest of it I'm going to do once I've had lunch so thank you for joining me I hope you've enjoyed watching this 
and to see the final colouring template you'll have to wait until tomorrow. So until then, take care, be creative and I'll say bye bye for now. Bye!